Right, we're back. It's the weekly rant video, and a um, few things to talk about today. Uh, firstly, the first thing I'm going to talk about is not ranting, but you may or may not have heard, viewers, but we won last night. We won last night. It was brilliant. Amazing. Can't believe it. And we played so well either, as well. We played really well. <clears throat> and it was a good game. That's a bit of a news flash for you, in case you had not heard. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Well, the first thing I'm going to talk about... Hang on a sec, I'm just going to get my timer so I don't overrun. The first thing I'm going to talk about today is the phantom sanction that I got from the humanities department. Um, um, my 3A2 levels are across humanities, all of them, and it turns out that if you get a sanction in a humanities lesson, you end up in a humanities faculty detention. Now, that's going to be quite tricky for a trolley person like me, um, who has three subjects in humanities. So. Well, um, out of the blue one day last week, I just received that blue slip from the student runner. You're in a faculty detention. And I thought, great, what's Miss Madam's done to me now? But it wasn't even her that put me in there. It was Mr. Marshall. The least... Oh, dear, never mind. But it, it seems the whole... this whole Whoever made this um, this new detention or whatever is obviously stupid because what's the point in punishing somebody? for getting a sanction, punishing them by giving them another sanction which is worse and will get them into even more trouble. Now, the issue here is the sanction, the original sanction, and is solving the issue by giving them another one really the way to go about it? I don't think it is, if I'm honest. And um, I think it's a bit, a bit retarded. A bit like those mince pies that I talked about a few weeks ago, but yes. Yeah. Something else, right, um, Danny Welbeck, England international, striker for Manchester United, breakout season in 2011-12, scored 13 goals I think for Manchester United, and last season scored 2 goals for Manchester United. Javier Hernandez, who is also a Manchester United striker, has scored 50 goals in 122 appearances for Manchester United and has a better international scoring record than Lionel Messi. Now he's sat on the bench whoops he sat on the bench at Manchester United warming it whilst Danny Welbeck is on the pitch missing open goals having scored two goals last season. What is wrong with the world? It's not just David Moyes that's done this as well. It's Sir Alex used to pick well, but I think it's probably because of his work rate. But he just gets underused. He's essentially been frozen out. Hernandez this season made one start and has scored one goal. Welbeck has made eight starts and he's scored two goals in all competitions this year. Ultimately, one of them was a delicious chip against Swansea. A very good goal, but we've struggled a little bit this season, and um, we've struggled to kill games off. Now, if you wanted a goal, surely you'd bring on the person with the best international goal-scoring record in the world, rather than Danny Welbeck, who missed countless chances for England. Now, I'm, probably sounds like I'm bashing him. I don't like him. He will be. A very good player for Manchester United, but not just yet. Because he doesn't get enough goals, he hasn't grown into his frame. Whereas Hernandez is 24, and he scores every time he's on the pitch. I just think he should be playing a bit more, if I'm honest. What is wrong with the world, honestly? But it's almost, it's almost as bad as the humanity sanction. Something else I'm going to talk about is year 10s. Let's have a go at those cocky... Bastards in year 10. Um, the other day, they kicked our ball down the field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at us. We're hard, aren't we? Yeah, fucking solid year 10s. We kick people's balls away. So I kicked their ball in the trees. 
and they kicked off and they started tearing you could see it around their eyes they were tearing they were crying they were sobbing they was like <laughs> he kicked a ball in the trees <sighs> What's going on? What do you expect? You kicked our ball down the field, you fucking assholes! Honestly, what what is wrong with these people? Do they think they own the place or something? Did they buy it? I don't know. If, but I'm just going to say this: if you kick somebody's ball away, expect them to kick yours away as well. It's generally how it works. And if you want to, if you want to go in with a physical challenge to nick the ball off somebody that's not even your ball, then expect to get flattened. You got. You can't expect anything less. When we were that age, if we'd have, I don't know, tried tackling sick formers, then we'd have probably got flattened, and we'd have probably been expected to get flattened, and we wouldn't have done it. But what is wrong with the current crop of retards in the in the years below? What do you want? Oh, what are you doing? Get off my jelly babies! <laughs> Leave them alone! <laughs> Piss off! Honestly, oh wow, it's broken. What do you want? Do you want something? God, it's funny on your face, on your face. Just get out and stop quoting in between you, fag stick. Are you going to wear your um, Robin Van Persie shirt tonight, Matthew, or are you going to wear your Borussia Dortmund shirt? Despite the fact United are playing tonight against uh, Real Sociedad. Despite the fact Dortmund be Arsenal last night. Oh, so you're a, you're a German. Are you part of the Aryan race? Yep. So you don't support Man U anymore? No. You don't know? Okay, this guy is a plastic Manchester United fan, what we've got here. He doesn't want to support the team because they're not doing very well at the minute. Yes, with Danny Lakes. I'll tell you what, I watched the 2008-09 season DVD the other day. End of October, we were still down in eighth, and we still won the league, and we were still eight points behind the leaders. Richard, that were Liverpool then we the have Ronaldo, now we have Fellaini. Quite a big golf in class there. Just get out, all right? I don't care. Cunt. We've still got Van Percy. You're right. a cunt flap. Nigger. You can't say that on my videos. <laughs> you cannot get away with that. I'm going to ask it tomorrow. Mr. Clark's office, you're getting reported for racism. <laughs> oh, you're getting reported <laughs> you're, worse than, you're worse than Cameron Williams, you are. Spam. <laughs> Have you quite finished? Yeah. Matthew, fuck you. Tea's ready, by the way. Tea's ready? We've only been going eight minutes, and she said 15 minutes when I started. Mom, is tea ready? How long's nearly? <laughs> Shut the door and get out. Though. I'll be there in a minute. You strap on. You strap on? Oh, I do apologise, everybody, for that. That's one example of what I mean. Kids in the years below do not know they're born. They treat everybody like shit. They behave like moms. They behave like they're in the place. Oh, you just soiled yourself. Yeah, that's going down my leg. Get out. <laughs> Get out, you shit pants, mom. Shit pants, mom. And you say, oh, there's quite in between us. Fuck off. Hypocrite. Get out. Don't lick my door. Oh, get lost. Get out. This hasn't really been a rant. It's been a rage at Matthew. Because he's a bloody retard. Honestly. Fucking what? Matthew. Fucking what? I'm going to ask you one more time to get out. Yeah. Yeah, he's gone. Thank goodness for that. That is what I mean. These people are retards. Anyway, back to year 10s. They, um, they chucked our ball down the field. And um, and so I just toe-punted their ball up into the trees. And they all go, Oh, hard man. Oh, oh, oh. Well, who's the hard man? You kicked our ball down the field first. Fucking cretins. I'll tell you what. If you, um, if you did a poll how, uh, throughout the whole school, how many, how do you like year 10s? Do you like some of the current year 10s who play football at the court at lunchtime? And the answer from a majority of the school will be no. They're all cunts, generally. Those who play on the field, there's a few decent ones, a few nice people. But the rest of them just behave like wankers. They've been, I don't know, they're 
big headed ego swelling toss pots. That's what they are. And you've heard that straight from the horse's mouth. Anyway, I'm going to give odds of four to one for them to all be killed by the end of 2013. I think Simon Trust of the Chicken Rustler is going to mow them all down with a lawnmower. I don't know. Some random attack like that. But anyway, I've got to call it a day here because I've got to go and have my dinner. So, I hope you enjoyed it this week. I apologise really, really, really badly. I desperately apologise, fuck's sake, on behalf of my brother for fucking up this video, causing a rage, and just behaving like a general shit. Oh dear. Well, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.